hey guys a very good evening so in this video i am going to talk about whether the project positions are predetermined and what kind of things you need to keep in mind before applying for a project position okay what i mean by predetermined is whether the supervisors have candidates in mind that they are already going to select so the whole process of you know the of the interview becomes redundant because ultimately they are not going to select you right now what exactly are the benefits of project position i have talked about in a video over here but in short i will just tell you see uh, whenever someone doesn't have any kind of research experience and before committing for a phd if someone wants to understand whether they are cut out for research or not it's a good way to uh, kind of like evaluate that you can commit for a six month period or a one month period depending upon the project now coming to the fact whether these positions are predetermined or not uh, many of them yes are and if you look at it from a point of view of a supervisor so imagine you are a supervisor you have got some funding and you need to recruit a couple of candidates just tell me honestly what would what would you prefer you would prefer someone you already know right or somebody who is your friend and let's say your friends uh, students um are are you know are coming for the interview and your friend tells you that you know i can vouch for that that these are my students these are really good so you please take them in the project position so if you keep yourself in the you know shoes of the supervisor you will understand that yes you know they would be inclined to take such students right but among my students whom i am teaching um uh, close to 10 or 15 are working in project positions right and all of them many of them did not want to come on to the camera that's a different thing okay i have only got two of them but many of them have got into the project positions without having any kind of you can say um contact or any kind of you know referral from a, anybody else purely based on the merit i have just made three guidelines for you uh what you need to keep in mind when you are applying for project position to improve your chances of getting a project right the first thing is always at apply for those positions which are advertised in a bunch like for example in csi institute 7 to 10 project positions sometimes come up simultaneously so over there if you apply your chances of getting interviewed and getting selected are a lot because um generally even if some of the students are predetermined there will be only one or two so at least you are competing for five seats so whenever the number of seats advertised are greater like or greater than 5 or something of that sort always do apply for those kind of positions the second thing that you need to keep in mind is if you are truly satisfying the desirable criteria of a project position so you will always see there's a eligibility criteria and then there's a desirable criteria right so if you are fulfilling the desirable criteria and the project that you are applying for let's say you already have a research experience in that particular project so sometimes what happens even let's say uh, the the so the you know um the supervisor has a candidate in mind already but they have advertised for the position and they have to advertise because it's according to the guidelines they have to interview at least four to five candidates before shortlisting the final candidate so it is like a norm that they have to advertise even if they have a student in mind they will need to advertise now let's say if you have a lot of research experience related to the project whereas the student uh, who is coming from some kind of a approach does not have any kind of research experience in that field the supervisor might be inclined to take you because everybody in the end wants a candidate who they do not have to teach or who do not who they do not have to train like because project positions are what they are limited um, number of years for which a project is advertised so always a supervisor will prefer a candidate who already has some kind of research experience in that particular uh, field so that they do not have to train them and they can quickly start with the project okay and the third thing is um, you should apply for all project positions um provided they are not you know um asking a lot from you in the sense that let's say they are just asking you about your cv um so you can always send it i think there is no problem in sending your cv because your cv is already uh, i guess you might have already made your cv so you can just attach it and send it and maybe write a, sh a few words uh, why you want to get into that project position so basically if you do not have to invest more than 15 to 20 minutes in applying you should definitely apply for those positions because sometimes you just might get lucky so these things you need to keep in mind and now i have the interview with two of my students one is uh, uh, prem and one is jasmine so let's hear it from them what is their idea like how they got into this project position um so those of you who don't know prem is one of my students and is currently working as a research fellow in computational chemistry at triple iit hyderabad and he has been like he has joined triple iit hyderabad as a project student so i think he can clear out a lot of your doubts so hi prem how are you doing at hyderabad so i'm fine sir <laughs> sir actually it is iit hyderabad sir double iit oh 
I I think because I have collaboration with Triple IT Hyderabad, I always go ahead with Triple IT Hyderabad. Sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm fine, sir. How are you, sir? I I am great, and um, so uh, your work I guess would be going smoothly, not smoothly, but at least it would be going on. You are working uh, remotely from your home. Yes, sir. I'm working from my home only right now. Uh, basically, I still have the access to submit calculation, do jobs. So those things I'm doing, and side by side, I'm also doing some literature works. So literature studies because I also I it has been just a few months. I have come here. I came in here in the month of March. So I was I'm also getting used to the work like on what uh, topics my supervisor is working or he's planning to do. So I'm also a bit new to those topics. Though I'm familiar, but I'm still learning. So I'm trying to uh, get my literature strong also regarding those topics. Okay. So uh, can you just enlighten the um, aspirants as to why you applied for a project position and what was the pr- process like? and uh, is there any reality to the fact that everything is fixed did you have any um, what do you call um, you know uh, approach or something or was it purely based on your merit how was it like so first of all obviously i have all, i have also been trying for net get i'll tell you honestly uh, but maybe uh, i had some what to say i wasn't being able to do my best so that is why as of now i haven't been able to clear that's the reality But yeah, side by side, I have, I have been all. I have, uh, even after passing out my MSc in 2019, I have been doing some projects. I was doing project with my previous MSc supervisor, so he was the one who first introduced me to the whole this uh, realm of uh, computational chemistry. So I got an exposure under him only. So I'm very, I always be grateful for him for that exposure. So side by side, I was doing with him also, and yeah, I was also doing a project on computational physics. Where I was working on software named as Quantum Espresso. I did learn a bit regarding that, though not in depth. So that is also the thing. So I was uh, simultaneously working side by side. So since yeah, last time also we had one single net examination in the year 2020, and perhaps even this time it seems it will there will be only one net exam. So last time also yeah, for a few marks I missed the cutoff. So after shortlisting, I had to appear for the interview, and like uh, when I applied for the interview, I think there were other or more uh, five candidates along with me. So on the day of interview, um, I don't know like uh, interview now because in this online interviews, you know how you have done, you don't know how others have done, and generally also in offline mode also that's the same. So when uh, my work was basically on what to say, since I had a computational experience, so definitely an interview on computational chemistry was going to be there. Side by side, there was an interview on inorganic chemistry. So uh, when I appear from when I had got the chance to appear, so uh, during that uh, during the interview time, uh, I had questions on first on inorganic chemistry aspects. So I think I did reasonably well. But maybe I wasn't satisfied with the with how I appeared for the bio and organic part because for bio and organic part generally even if you study we tend to forget we aren't in touch with right. those things so bio and organic I can yeah I can I can uh, accept that yeah bio bio organic aspect was not good and even to some extent some uh, magnetism related questions though I'll be working on magnetism here later on and later yeah when I got the chance to express for computational chemistry so. Uh, my guide wanted to see because since I had applied uh, in my CV, I had written my experiences. I was also fortunate enough to have a publication during my MSc work only. So he wanted to see he wanted whether that thing really does get reflected or not. And after having a publication, also how much I have moved ahead after that because that was just for MSc part. After that, how much I have advanced. So that definitely I worked a lot on that also. And yeah, while uh, appearing for computational uh, interview, though I'll not say that. I had prepared fully. I was uh, like, uh, get, uh, prepared hundred percent. But whatever I prepared, at least I was aware of what, uh, what, how the things are done. And especially, I was very much aware of the things which was done in my paper. So that helped me a lot, sir. Okay, so basically, uh, if I have to summarize uh, your experience beyond your MSc in computational chemistry plus. Uh, um uh, 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 like a uh, plus uh, you know you were able to answer a good amount of fair amount of questions in the interview that worked for you in getting the project position uh, definitely sir then yeah i suddenly got a call around uh, after 20 february that yeah i had been shortlisted so if i accept the offer then i have to uh, reply them i have to give my acceptance so obviously uh, having uh, getting such an opportunity is very difficult especially mm-hmm. if you are especially if you are someone is from Uh, like uh, unrecognized university or state university 
because generally uh, many people doesn't know yeah uh, in even it's a, such small state universities good works can be uh, done or like some uh, supervisors are doing very good work so we generally we don't get the limelight so yeah then everything happened very fast then i had to report within 10 days i had to get enrolled myself and yeah after that yeah i have been i have been here i have been safe as of now and i'm and i'm uh, enjoying my work also whatever work i'm doing currently i'm uh, enjoying that very much sir great great i'm glad to hear that so just to clarify for the viewers um you had no previous um, you know contact with the, your present supervisor like there was no approach nothing no, sir. correct no sir no sir no sir right it was solely on merit sir okay great um by, by the way just asking out of curiosity like um since you said that you have been preparing for gate and net uh, but um at the si- same time you have now a lot of experience you know behind you especially in the field of computational so um haven't you decided to maybe uh, try for a phd abroad maybe no sir now i i would be uh, very much happy to continue here only right now i am i'm here for a project junior research fellow but i would be very much happy to get, get a full time phd here and continue under my guide okay so as as a final advice uh, would you uh, tell uh, whosoever is maybe applying for any kind of uh, project positions that are advertised um that one should have some kind of experience in the project that they are enrolling which will definitely brighten up their chances sir yeah now because earlier i also used uh, i didn't believe on those things i think yeah, thanks yeah those things are fixed from beforehand but yeah considering my case only even if yeah it's, uh, it's uh, something like that some students are fixed from beforehand also but i think if you have a fair bit of experience on that so definitely and if you can replicate those things in an interview so yeah the interview panel will definitely have a tough time in choosing yeah to get uh, like who is the desired one whether someone who was fixed uh, earlier on or whether someone who has a a bit of experience and who is technically skilled to do work on that thing because even like uh, especially for project uh, positions and all i feel that even for project positions and all supervisors tend to uh, take uh, prefer experience at times because then it becomes very easy for him also to progress his work correct 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 that that's absolutely true so um thank you prem for coming on the platform and uh, clarifying this myth around the project positions i agree that yes uh, some of the positions are predefined and the professors already have uh, candidates in their mind but it's glad to see that um you were able to make the cut without any kind of fixtures behind so uh, congratulations and i hope you do really well i have seen a couple of your research articles um, they are excellent and i hope you continue the same way in the future as well uh, sorry thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity like uh, i was honored and yes uh, you have been always uh, sir a helping hand whenever even right today also if i need some any kind of help you are always available so you have been always kind and yes yeah, sir we are doing a very good job sir thank you Keep thank you that, sir. thank you prem thank you thank you so much right so uh, we have jasmine with us previously we had prem and he told about his experience so jasmine is also one of my students and uh, she is currently working as a project fellow um at um iser kolkata now uh, it, it's quite intriguing because this time around um she is working as a project fellow but she has qualified both the uh, csi net grf and also the gate examination um so let's welcome her hi jasmine how are you doing today <laughs> good sir hi sir okay great so um like uh, how, why did you decide um to apply for a project position what was the reason behind that even though you have qualified grf so generally we see that students directly go for a phd so why do you think uh, about applying for a project fellow uh, sir because the, i have completed my masters in 2019 only and from 2019 to 2021 i was at doing nothing so i thought that uh, and previously also i don't have any research experience so i thought that uh, by joining this project i will get some research experience and kaam karne ko milega sir okay right, right. <laughs> okay okay so matlab basically you wanted to decide your interest pehle ek bar interest um acche se pata chal jayega then you wanted to pursue a phd yes sir ओके ओके सो व्हाट वाज द एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस लाइक कैसे कैसे अप्लाई किया एंड लाइक यू डिडेंट हैव अ प्रीवियस रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस 
तो फिर वट वॉज द इंटरव्यू अबाउट और कैसे अप्लाई किया क्या क्या चीजें उन्होंने लाइक like, मांगी थी स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पज या रिसर्च इंटरेस्ट मांगा था उन्होंने No sir I got to know about this project question from your videos only you have uploaded two videos in uh, one in get chemistry channel and another in real channel and from the, uh, from you only I got to know about this project question and I thought that I had a JRF and yet I should apply for this project position and uh, the topic of the project also quite interesting so I have applied for this project position and I have to give only my CV and not nothing more. so i have applied this project question and i haven't mailed the professor also it was to, uh, it was totally unknown to me and then i have been, uh, one day then i have been shortlisted for interview okay so how long was that before applying after applying how long it did, did it take for the interview to come uh, for the after applying like, after applying sir like uh, 10 20 days later they uh, send me a mail for interview Okay, so uh, so what uh, what questions uh were there like what all they asked in the interview? In the interview, some basics basics organic chemistry question and basics in organic chemistry question like uh, diastereomeric reaction, endo product, exo product, and the uh, acidity basicity question, molecular orbital theory like that. Okay, okay. So uh, like after the interview, did they convey something to you like during the interview or just after the interview? Uh, did they convey something that they, you are getting selected or something like that, or you just got a mail that you have been selected, or did you get a call from the yes, professor or something like that? Yes, sir. Uh, after after like ten uh, twenty days later, I got a mail from my supervisor that you have been selected. Uh, you have been selected for the project position. During okay. interview, they haven't sent anything. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, so, so, uh, what do you think? What is the, um, uh, what, what could be the criteria? Did your interview did uh, go very well? Because generally, what I have seen is that somebody has some kind of research experience for on a particular project, then generally they are selected. So, what do you think? What could be the possible reason uh, that you were you were short you were shortlisted for this particular position? A- any any idea? Sir, maybe my uh, my interview was done well. because okay. i have uh, answered all the questions correctly so maybe that's the main thing okay okay nice so did you also have this kind of um, you can say notion or um, idea that you know you, one should not apply for a project position because generally they are prefixed and the candidate is already determined did you also have this idea or were you, like some of your friends or your colleagues discouraged you from applying for a project position because um they thought that it is already predetermined that who is going to get selected Yes, sir. I haven't any idea about. I haven't any idea about project position, and I haven't any idea about PhD also. I okay. I just randomly saw your videos, and then I randomly applied for this project position. Okay, okay. So this was your first, uh, like first application for a project position. Yes, sir. My uh, first application for project position, and also my first interview. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's that's great. So, but uh, like you sh- said in the beginning of the video that you are not doing anything for the couple of years, you are preparing for the examinations, right? And then finally, yes, it has been fruitful. You have qualified both the important examinations, so that's great. Uh, so, ha- you, how how long have you worked in the lab before uh, the lockdown happened? Uh, before lockdown, I just worked only fifteen days, and okay. then lockdown thing happened. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's be only it's been fifteen days, but uh, how was your experience? I mean, it's too soon, but still, in the fifteen days or whatever time you have spent over here, uh, how was your experience like? It was good, sir. But uh, lab only, I have done only literature survey. I haven't done anything. Okay, experimentation you have not started basically. Only not yet started, sir. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So if you kind of like the project, then you might think about enrolling in the same lab as a, you know, as a as a PhD candidate also in the future if you like the things that are happening in the lab. Yes, sir. I gave interview in Isar Kolkata for PhD position, and if I like my work, then I will join for PhD in the same lab only. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's great. So uh thank you Jasmine for uh, for for coming on the platform and helping the students out bursting this myth that one cannot um get a project position if if no one doesn't have any kind of approach or something um uh, it was I am I'm glad to have you on the platform thank you so much thank you sir Hey guys so I am a verified educator on an academy and along with that I am also available on the an academy plus platform where I am taking live classes along with other educators So in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform 
using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you're not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ACT once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right